the thing I would like people to know is when you get on the Stuart College campus, that's when you see what Harpers Ferry is really like. Stuart College. Established in 1867 by Free Will Baptists as a part of an effort to educate free men after the Civil War. It was the only college open to African Americans in West Virginia prior to 1891. Stuart College is and will always be very important to me. My first two sisters attended Stuart College. I knew that I would be going there too. Seeing the campus, and it kind of gives the vibe of a lot of smaller um, historically black colleges, you know, right. small campuses. But it's nice to be able to come here. Yeah, we're walking on history right now. And to know that people were able to continue their education right. past. The founding of Stuart College is significant. Civil War ended in 1865, and Stuart College started in 1867, which means there had to be people who were concerned about the education of black people. I was going to become a teacher. However, in 1955, the year I graduated high school, the college closed. I mean, it makes me feel proud to be here because a lot of our family members were educated in historically black right. colleges and universities because they were not able to go to other schools. Right. And even going to an HBCU now in this generation, like as I have gone to, it's still like such a cool experience to be here in one of the first HBCUs. Should we go check out some of the buildings on campus? Yep, let's do it. Come on. These buildings represent the people who have helped to shape my life, from my parents and my teachers who graduated from Stuart College, who talked to us all the time about what we wanted to be and how we could become it. The battle we wage is not for ourselves alone, but for all true Americans. Wow. You know, I know my dad would have been really excited to know that I came to this campus, and I could have, would have loved talking to him about it, and I'm sure he would have said, well, you know I've already been there. Yeah. Because he knew so much about all the HBCUs in every state, and. You know, he would talk about what, you know, what the land grant colleges were. And so to end here, it's pretty significant. I, I feel his spirit with us. I yeah. know he's here. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's time for us to head on. <laughs> it's time to head on across the river to Maryland. <laughs> Let's do it. You're driving, right? I guess. You're driving. Right. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs>